Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. I'm back again. See my painting in the top left corner? Yeah. Or maybe you see it at the top right corner. I call that autumn. I used watercolor and acrylic paint on it. And I did it a long time ago, close to 20 years ago, when I could walk. You know, I've almost forgotten what it's like to walk. I've been bed bound for a little over three years, three years and a couple of months. Uh, my thoughts on that are, I don't know if I'll ever walk again. For me to be able to walk would mean an awful lot of work, and I'm not sure if I'm up to it. But that's okay. If I'm not, I'm not. I want to gain the strength back in my arms, and I'm doing Tai Chi. I used to do it when I could walk, but now I just do it with my arms. I modify it a little bit. So how are you all doing today? Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, subscribe to it, and don't forget to hit the like button and also the little black bell. That way I'll be able to make more videos like this one. My mom is resting right now. And in the afternoons, I have some time to myself. And that's when I make videos. I used to have a brother. He passed away two days after my 41st birthday. His name was Jim. And I love him very dearly. He was an expert black and white photographer. I have a couple of his photographs in my room. There was one we found, my mom and I found recently, that was inscribed to me. And in it he said, in art and life, Beauty is truth, and truth beauty. He was a very intelligent man, good looking. He used to lift weights and his arms were big, but he became addicted to drugs. And that's what killed him. I miss him very much. We were very close. He always included me in everything that he did. And he was seven years older than me. And most big brothers do not pay attention to their little sisters. But he did with me. We grew up together. We were always side by side. I used to enjoy being with him. He would sit down with me or he'd watch something on TV and he'd say, Michelle, watch this. And I would always do what he said. There was a show on TV in the early 1970s when I was little called Kung Fu. 
It starred David Carradine when he was still alive. And it was a very famous show. That's where the term grasshopper came from. It was about a man who was part Asian, part American, and in the show he was searching for his half-brother going all over the United States. It was a beautiful show. It was set like a Western, but I loved it even as a young child. It had a lot of meaning for me and for my brother Jim. So after he passed away, I bought the whole three seasons of the show on DVD and I have it now. I don't watch it anymore, but I think about the times that Jim and I used to watch it. And then it came on global TV late, late at night, like one in the morning when we lived with our maternal grandmother. He would say, you know what's coming on TV tonight? And I'd say, no. He'd say, Kung Fu. You want to watch it with me? I said, yes. Let's get some munchies and hunker down. So that's what we did. While our grandmother slept, we enjoyed Kung Fu. We would make uh, some brownies and we'd have Coca-Cola. And sometimes we'd make a pizza. <laughs> a Chef Boyardee pizza. And we would watch the show and eat Doritos chips. Oh, I love Doritos. Such fond memories. Sometimes I would spend hours with him in his dark room in the basement right next to the furnace. He would set all his equipment up down there, the enlarger, all his pans with the chemicals in them. And I would just watch him, his hands would flutter like bird wings over the exposed photographic paper. Yeah. He taught me everything that he knew about photography and making a negative and then exposing the print. But I've forgotten a lot of it. But I remember being with him. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to my stories. The wonderful thing about them is that they're all 100% true. Nothing made up. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.